The Taoiseach, Mr O'Hearn, has urged the Northern Ireland Secretary, Mo Molum, not to force next Sunday's Orange March down the nationalist Garvahi Road in Portadown. Speaking to RTE after meeting Dr Molum in Belfast this morning, Mr O'Hearn said nobody wished to see a repeat of last year's angry confrontations at Drum Cree. And he warned the Irish government would not automatically support whatever decision was ultimately taken by Dr Molum on the handling of the march. Orange men plan to march from the centre of Portadown along an uncontested route to Drum Cree Church and back via the Garvahi Road. The Taoiseach Mr Ahern arriving in Belfast today as tension continues to mount across Northern Ireland in advance of next weekend's Orange March down the mainly nationalist Garvahi Road in Portadown. Mr Ahern used the margins of the biennial conference of the Irish Congress of Trades Unions for talks with Secretary of State Dr Mo Molum just 48 hours before his planned meeting with British Prime Minister Tony Blair on Thursday. As yet, no sign of an accommodation which could defuse the Drum Cree time bomb, though Dr Molum continues to hold off on a final decision as to how the march should be handled. We still have four or five days. We're still meeting and talking with the residence groups. I don't accept yet that an accommodation is not possible because then you get people entrenching and you get the situation building up to the kind of problem that we faced last year. I don't think that decision yet has to be faced. But in an interview with RTE News, the Taoiseach appeared to urge the Northern Secretary not to force the march down the Garvahi Road. If no accommodation is reached and the Secretary of State is forced to make a decision about uh, how she'll handle the march, will that be supported by the Irish government? Well, I mean, that depends what it is. Um, clearly, nobody wants to see uh, the uh, march uh, forced through as last year. Nobody wants to see people um, ringed in as they were last year. But the Secretary of State is, is, is trying uh, her, her best to, to find a, a, an accommodation. Uh, and it's a very, very, very sensitive issue and a very, very delicate issue. Uh, we certainly will uh, discuss the issue further again uh, on Thursday with the British Prime Minister, Tony Blair. Today's comments by the Taoiseach will place additional pressure on the Northern Secretary to broker an accommodation on Drum Cree over the next four days. Whether in fact that will be possible should become clear by the time Mr Ahern meets the British Prime Minister, Tony Blair, on Thursday. The Garvahi Road Residents Coalition has appealed to nationalists across the north not to travel to Portadown for this weekend's planned Orange Parade. The coalition said only local residents, human rights observers and the media would be welcome. However, the residents have planned a series of roadside protests over the coming days which unionists have described as deliberately provocative. With no decision yet made on this Sunday's march, the Residents' Coalition announced details of their counter-protest plans. Later this week, around 30 women will set up camp on the side of the Garvahi Road in a Greenham Common Type 24-hour vigil. The Coalition said other steps are being taken in response to media reports that the British Army will erect security screens along the length of the road to allow the Orange Men through. From tomorrow night onwards, we will be setting weekly or nightly pickets up on the Garvahi Road and we will be asking local people to come out and support those pickets and to demonstrate to Mo Molum and to, Hugh Onsley, or, or to uh, Ronnie Flanagan and to others that we are not the least worst option. We are not the lesser of two evils. He then delivered this warning. If the government decides to force an orange march down the Gavahi Road on Sunday, they will be sending a message out to nationalist communities all over the north that violence wins. Mo Molum said she was surprised by the residents' decision to hold the roadside protests and hoped they would be peaceful and within the law. Unionists condemned them as deliberately provocative and a clear attempt to up the ante. As tension mounts just days before this Sunday's parade, there seems very little hope of a breakthrough. Yet here at Stormont, the UK Unionist Party has put forward a proposal which may yet give both sides a way out. The government should therefore publicly declare that this is a lawful march whose safe passage they will ensure if necessary. The order, the loyal order should then say, in my view, we do not intend to exercise that right at this time. The Orange Orders would then have vindicated their right. It would be there for all time, and they could exercise it when they wished. But they would have had the moral high ground of, of their own volition, not exercising that right at a time of high tension. It's understood this proposal is being given serious consideration. 
Momolum will hold another round of meetings with residents, groups and the Orange Order over the next 48 hours. More on that later.